Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. It is Thursday, the 29th day of July, 2010. We have a power-packed transmission lined up for you today. A member of the Icelandic Parliament, Birgitta jones Dottier, who we're a big fan of and who has done great work fighting the bankers over there, is going to join us. because She's got a lot of inside info on WikiLeaks, and we're still trying to gauge the exact nature of this. She's joining us for 40 minutes in the next hour. Then we have Ray McGovern popping in for 30 uh, on WikiLeaks, but more importantly, we're going to spend most of our time with the former uh, high-level CIA analyst to Reagan and Bush Sr. talking about the green lighting of an attack on Iran. Is it a full green light? Are they preparing to green light it? We'll get his intel from D.C. coming up. Uh, then, uh, after that, in the last uh, 30 minutes of the third hour, uh, we're going to have Phil Berg, the lawyer, the father of the birther movement, uh, will be joining us as well to give us updates on those issues. But in the first hour and 20 minutes of the broadcast today, for this hour and 20 minutes into the next before Birgitta joins us, it is just a total information overload of key information on so many fronts, and I will cover all of these stacks I have. But first off, I was browsing Infowars.com further down the page and reading articles that we had linked to uh, in the last uh, three or four days that I hadn't had time to look at, and I saw one about raids on health food stores in Southern California, and I watched the surveillance camera footage of a health food store selling goat milk that you can buy right here in Austin. And they raided them with guns and were screaming at them and, and pointing guns at people at a health food store at, at hippies that wouldn't hurt a fly. And it just illustrates how out of control the federal and state governments are. This was a federal slash state slash local police uh, raid. And it just got me so hot. Uh, so that is going to be coming up uh, later in this hour. There's no audio on the video, but it's linked up on InfoWars.com. But for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, we'll be playing the surveillance camera footage. And for radio listeners, I'll be describing it. But you can go to InfoWars.com and uh, go to the story uh, from the Los Angeles Times. Headline, Raw Food Raid Highlights a Hunger. And... I'm seeing reports like this around the country every week or two where you'll have a family of farmers selling eggs and watermelons out on the side of the road and they send an undercover officer to buy eggs and watermelons and they arrest them for not supposedly paying sales tax uh, or they arrest them for selling eggs or milk or cheese or they raid their homes and they're, they're harassing the Amish now. And it just illustrates the fact that Prudential and other insurance companies are in a detailed Bloomberg report. Got to say, I don't like Mayor Bloomberg, but I really like Bloomberg, his company. I mean, the news, they, the investigative reports they put out dwarf anything I'm seeing in the world. And time and time again, they report things we already know, but they're the only mainstream outlet to detail it. And it's how... Prudential and others are swindling, and it's admittedly illegal. Uh, they take out insurance policies on troops, and then when the troops get killed, they don't even pay any of the insurance to the families, and they send them a, a letter to basically steal the money from them, to manipulate them. And then now that they might pay a fine that's a tiny fraction. It's not just Prudential, it's others, according to Bloomberg. It just these banks and insurance companies are criminals and they run the government. They're the ones setting up this whole new world order. So so that's coming up. I also have talked a lot in the last decade about Google being an NSA front and actually being a crystal ball <coughs> to tell the future. That's not my words. I've read that in declassified Pentagon documents. But here it is in Wired magazine today. Google openly announces they can tell the future. We'll be right back. Stay with us. 
Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory-direct, big-money-saving, triple-concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 Three four zero seven zero nine one. Visit our website five starsoap.com for buying a one to two month soap sampler. Thank you. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. It is Thursday, the 29th day of July, 2010. And we again have a jam-packed radio transmission for you today, member of the Icelandic Parliament to talk about WikiLeaks and a lot more because she's uh, worked with them. Birgitta jones Dottier pops in in the second half of the next hour. Then Ray McGovern and Phil Berg, extremely informative information. Of course, Phil Berg, attorney, the founder of the Birther Movement, which is continuing to pick up steam despite media disinformation and demonization. And Ray McGovern, high-level CIA analyst to Ronald Reagan and George Bush Sr., We'll get his uh, inside scoop on the green lighting of the attack on Iran. But in the next hour and 20 minutes or so, before the guests start joining us today, we've got a lot of news to cover and a short time to get there. So let me just do this. Let me just read the headlines, just the headlines, and then I'm going to go back through it in more detail. But just to give you an idea what we're dealing with. White House proposal would ease FBI access to records of Internet activity. ISPs, your personal computers, everything, no Fourth Amendment. And it says right here in the first paragraph, uh, without warrants, just the complete end of the Fourth Amendment. And I was driving into work this morning. In fact, I'm tempted to call KLBJ 590 uh, because I'm friends with them. They carry the show uh, and get them to get me that call uh, that came in at about 1025 in fact, will you guys call Thomas McDonald? His number is in my phone. He actually called me yesterday. 
uh, and call him and ask if he can MP3 us. That lady saying, I want to give up my liberty for freedom. I want to, I want the FBI to search all our computers. This constitution is bad. It's going to allow the, uh, terrorists to attack us. And, uh, we've got to, you know, let the government do whatever it wants. And I just wanted to scream at her. In fact, I was actually yelling at the radio and telling her, lady, governments are always what is most dangerous. This government is so corrupt, has been caught lying so many times, is run by such corrupt corporations that have hijacked it. What are you talking about? The entire Homeland Security apparatus was built and designed and is pointed at the American people. That's on record. But she is just the perfect example. I've got to get that call. I've got to get that call and play it here on air because she was just as stupid and mindless as the woman who I interviewed in London at a vegetable and fruit stand right outside one of the places that got bombed. And I walk up to her and I talk about how the police had killed an innocent man uh, just a few days after the attack execution style. And she said, well, I think we should give up our liberty for freedom. What an oxymoron. This woman I heard today was even stupider than that. And she illustrates everything we're fighting, how these sheeple just love to be slaves. But I'm sorry, I said I'd read the headlines. I'm already uh, digressing here. White House proposal would ease FBI access to records of Internet activity. And then you read the article, it says no longer have any warrants. Look at this incredible Google story out of Wired Magazine. Headline, exclusive, Google CIA invest in future of web monitoring in live time. CIA tracking everything you do live time. No warrants, no nothing. Now listen to this first line. I'm going to get back into this later, but how many times have you heard me talk about this? Word for word. And I've gotten a lot of people making jokes about it on the web and saying I'm crazy. They won't go research my facts. They just say I'm lying. The investment arm of the CIA, NQTEL, and Google are both backing a company that monitors the web in real time and says it uses the information to predict the future. That's what all of this is about. RFID, face scanning cameras, they're already doing it. They are already predicting mass movements to upwards of 99% and individual movements up to 93%. And that's what they admit. They know what you're going to do before you do it. That's what this is really all about. And Google is the NSA. Here's another key article. Seven people have been entrusted with the keys to the entire Internet. Seven people can bring down the entire domain system and shut the web off in a matter of seconds. We're going to be covering that. Also out of NBC, details of 100 million Facebook users published online. Facebook had told them they would never share it if you wanted to be a private profile. Not anymore. Because he thinks you're a bunch of dumb effers. Remember that quote? These dumb effers think they can trust me. They are such schmucks. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. And, of course, Facebook is admittedly CIA. Twitter is admittedly run by the State Department, which is the international conglomerate arm of the CIA. And it's just all about flaunting it in your face and trying to break your will. Here's another important report out of Alternet. Has the most common marijuana test resulted in tens of thousands of wrongful convictions? The answer is yes. It's all quackery, uh, just like what we see going on with the old lie detector test. And so they're now replacing those with brain scanners and predictive pre-crime uh, systems. So we'll be uh, discussing all of that. And Kurt Nemo has got an excellent article uh, that's up on Infowars.com right now d d uh, that details this pre-crime uh, so-called prediction system the problem is they can put any false data they want into this and falsely claim that the system predicted that you were going to commit a crime. And, and, and that's the issue with this panopticon is that we know governments will abuse it. We know the founding fathers warned us about this type of thing. And we know that they've been caught putting out disinfo as well. Uh, but Google and CIA fund political pre-crime technology 
uh, is the Kurt Nemo story that just went up on InfoWars.